All right, so the first section here gives us the domain of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And it's asking us to find the range. So what we need to remember is that the domain is the same as what we generally think of as our x value or the input. Um, what we want to find is the range. What happens to these numbers when we do something to them, when we put them into a function? So the first example that we have in our review is y equals 4x minus 5. So we have y equals 4x minus 5. I want to know what happens when I plug in the domain. What do I get for y? So we're going to make a table. We already know what our x values are. They're our input or their domain. Now we want to find what the range is. So we have our y over here and we're going to plug these values in for x. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, minus 5 is negative 13. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. The next number is 0. We all know 0 times 4 is just going to give us 0 minus 5. We get a negative 5. And if you start to see a trend here, it looks like the, the output is just decreasing each time. Um, or increasing, rather, by 4. So now I plug in a 1, 1 times 4 minus 5, I'm going to get a negative 1. And I can see a pattern develop here. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 5 is going to be 3. And that's just simply plugging in for x uh, when we're given a certain domain and finding the range. So the range is going to be negative 13, negative 9, negative 5, negative 1, and 3.